Hi everyone, this is Ascended Twin 144K. I'm here to do the general collective message for the star sign Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, North Node, and South Node. How the hell is everybody doing? I hope you're doing well, soul family. I hope you're doing well. I know I'm feeling pretty snazzy. I know that's an old school word, but that's how I'm feeling right now. I don't give a fuck. But anyways, let me get these quick disclaimers out the way. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to all of the subscribers who have done so. Boy, y'all have no idea. Thank you, thank you, thank you, God damn it. Thank you, family. I appreciate the love. I really fucking do. And for those of you who came through, check me out, see what I was about. I appreciate y'all hot asses too, even though you did a drive-by. Fuck you too. But I love you because you came through. That's what's up. Also, for those that don't know, this is for entertainment purposes only. So please don't make any life-changing decisions based on a general collective reading. Okay? Also... Um, I got three things that I'm going to tell you. And if you like them, cool. If you don't, you know where the door is. First off, I talk a lot of shit and I cuss a lot. Secondly, I don't read like everybody else. And thirdly, refer back to one. If you don't like this and any of this offends you, I totally get it. Click the fuck off now. Do it while you can. Okay? Okay. Now... For all of those that are still learning tarot, I'm going to help you out. If you're new to YouTube and you're new to the tarot, to the uh, tarot readings and the soul family, welcome. Welcome, 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 goddammit. If I say chalices, that's aka cups, that is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. If I say wands, that's fire, that is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If I say swords, that is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Did I say Aquarius for Sagittarius? I might have said that for Sagittarius. But just in case, for fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Because that Aries, that shit sounded alike, goddammit. Also, um, for Pentacles, it's Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay? So, I don't see none of y'all shit up here. And this is your motherfucking reading. I'm going to need you bitches to show up and show the fuck out. Okay? I'm Virgo Rising. And I know sometimes, you know, we're a little soft. We're a little timid. We like to hide and shit. But nigga, show the fuck up. Something. Okay, anyway, let's get to the reading. Any information that you need to know will be in the description box below the video. Okay? You got the four chalices. Somebody is thinking about an offer, but they're also thinking about missing an offer altogether. They really don't seem like they give a fuck about the offer, to be honest. That's how I'm feeling. Looking at this card, do this little, do this little nigga look like he really gives a fuck? He seemed to be focused on some other shit. He got some other shit going on. And it ain't this. He seems already preoccupied. Like he has, a, he got a hella other shit on his brain. Okay, but he could be intuitively being intuitively led in a situation. The high priestess is Cancer and Pisces energy. Okay, so the high priestess is the record keeper. She knows everything. She sees everything. This whole got receipts on everybody. Er, er, everybody. Also. She don't motherfucking talk. Male or feminine. Don't matter. High priestess could be a woman. High priestess could be a man. But this person is not talking, but they use their intuition. This high priestess uses her intuition with everything. Henceforth, why? She the record keeper. She know everything, goddammit. But this would, might be your situation. You could be intuitively led. You could be a high priestess. You could be the high priestess in a situation. But somebody don't 
know about whether or not they're going to accept the offer. Because this is the Four of Cups. Somebody normally rejects this, okay? But this kid over here, he's pondering. He don't he don't know whether or not, you know, he coming or going. He's just like, hmm, I'm here. But anyway, moving on, we got the Hangman. And this is Pisces energy, period. The Hangman, to me, is also the divine. When... You can't take care of a situation and it becomes too great. It becomes very overwhelming. It becomes very burdensome. It becomes very stressful to the point of where it starts creating not only mental dis-ease, but physical dis-ease, which we know is disease of the body. That's when the divine steps in because he's like, it's too much. Some Somebody come in and help this Help this person out. They need help. Bottom line. When the divine steps in, it's time you need help. It's been a lot going on for you. And it's time for you to get some help in the situation. Or you could be dealing with a Pisces. Sun, moon, or rising. Mercury, Venus, North Node. Or, yeah, North Node or South Node. Can be any of those. Because sometimes they pop up and hit hard too. Just where your energy's at. You don't have to be. Or you could be. Or you could have some of this in your chart. But you are suspended right now. This is my divine intervention. So the divine has stepped in. Has put a halt on whatever the hell is going on in this situation. And now somebody wants to take victory forward could very well be a cancer because this is cancer's energy doesn't have to be a cancer but somebody could be embodying that energy like a cancer and you want victory you want to move forward in this situation you could have got a new car too pisces could have been you virgo i don't know somebody might have got a new car leave it in the description box you know put the comments down i like to read the comments we also have the seven of chalices here. So this could also be a situation where somebody got too many options. And it's creating heartbreak for somebody. And all of these options, mind you, ain't good. My mama used to say, everything that look good ain't good for you. Might look good to you, but it ain't good for your ass. And this three of the three of swords, that's definitely telling a story. Okay? Because this is heartbreak and this is betrayal. Somebody has been betrayed in the situation and they feel in some motherfucking type of way. You done went ape shit, a bat shit crazy, and then became the queen of swords. You done got cold. You done took all the emotions out of the situation. You done got real clear about what the fuck it is and what the fuck it ain't been. Okay? And if you don't give her the truth now, in the traditional tarot, there's a chick sitting on a throne with a sword. And she got a hand out like this. But she also got a sword out like this. So if you don't give her the fucking truth, off with your head. There you go. But this bitch got a bird. <laughs> you see this bird? This motherfucker's got a goddamn... What is that, a rope? Yeah, she got this nigga's mouth bounded up. So I, I would suggest don't play no fucking games because there's another card in here. When we run across it, I'm going to show you this motherfucker. I don't give a damn if we don't run across it. I'm going to show you what that bitch look like when that leash ain't on, okay? Also, we're going to find out what's being illuminated too. Because this is my illumination card. So that tells me there's something that needs to be revealed. Something is still hidden in this situation. Some shit needs to be opened up. <clears throat> and somebody's going to end up needing to take a much needed break. Yeah, they're going to have to take a break. Let's be nosy, family, and see what's up underneath. Yeah, there's something going on from the past. Let me put this where y'all can see it. There's something going on from the past because this is my soulmate card. Somebody felt left out in the cold, probably emotionally, financially. That might be why we don't see no pentacles, Virgo. What the hell? Somebody then came and got all your loot. Damn. 
but you feeling real defensive and you real guarded. You standing your ground on something. I hope it's good. And you got the the Ace of Pentacles coming to you. So you got abundance. You got something stable and grounded that's coming to you. This is some tangible shit. Something you can touch. You're going through the door of value, nigga. But you've been in something that was over fucking whelming. It burdened the shit out of you, too. It was very stressful. It was a lot of strife. Ten of Pentacles, it takes a lot to get those wands. You got to build one wand, one wand on top of the other. And after a while, that weight becomes very cumbersome. And you weren't seeing things clearly. Also, I have a specific message too. Somebody may need to go get an eye check. You might need to go see the doctor and get your eyeballs fixed. Get them checked out. You might need some stronger glasses, okay? Your prescription might be not strong enough for you. Also, um, we got <clears throat> the Knight of Pentacles. So whatever it is, it's moving like molasses in fucking January. This shit coming in so goddamn slow. But this is you. But I will say this about us. We're precise, we're methodical, and we're very practical. Minded. Yeah. You're going to be fucking amazing, nigga. Male or female. You are going to be fucking amazing. Because the Nine of Pentacles is damn near the Ten of Pentacles, boo-boo. And when you the Nine of Pentacles, that means you self-sufficient, you fucking independent, yo. You know what I mean? You are independent. You don't need nobody else's Skrilla. You got your own shit. You got your own car. You got your own house. You got your own social life. You happier than a motherfucker how you got things set up. You see all them flowers? You love flowers too. Somebody does. But you're financially successful. You're independent. You're self-made. You might be even building your own fucking business. Okay? Courage and strength. Or you could be dealing with a Leo. But you needed to have courage, courage and strength. Because you're going to be building some shit. You're going to be building some hella shit. And you're going to master the fuck out of it too. Okay? And the truth comes in the situation too. Where there's been a lot of internal conflict. Yeah. There was lack of reciprocity in the situation in the past. Right there. It's right there. And it could still be your present. Okay? Past for some. Present for some now. This ain't going to resonate for everybody. But there's an offer. There's a beautiful offer of love. Ooh, looky child, looky, looky, balls on hooky. The lovers. So there could very well be a Gemini, but you do have a choice to make, just like this little nigga over here need to make up his mind, whether he's going to accept or reject the situation. And this can go for same sex too now. So I'm not discounting y'all out of this situation either. Some of y'all could very much be in a twin flame situation. Might I add, but somebody is holding on to two situations. Do you see this? Look real carefully. They got their hand on one one like they made a decision. But that sneaky motherfucker turned around and wrapped that scarf around that other one. So they holding on to two things. So now that you know what's in between your situation, you ready to go forward? Come on, let's get with it. All right, star sign, Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Mercury, and Venus, north node and south node. What we got? Conflict. So there's a lot of lies, competition, fighting internally, externally in your situation. Somebody wants you to choose them. I'm feeling like, how do I describe this? It's like they haven't literally said it, although some thirsty motherfucker may have said it. I want you to choose me. No, choose me. People are trying to get you to choose them. <clears throat> they like the way you look. 
male or female, they like the way you, they love the way you fucking smell. I'm being told they love the way you smell. So you must wear some really nice perfume or cologne and it's not cheap. They find you very attractive. And these are co-workers too, by the way. Some of these are co-workers as well as some people that you know and want to get to know you a little better, boo-boo. But you feel conflicted. You feel like there's been some shit going on in your situation that you're presently in. And there's a ten of swords situation down at the bottom of the deck. Wow. So this is really why you can't get into all of the little, you know, hotties or the little homeboys, homeboys that are hitting on you at work because you focused on whatever is going on in the background that they can't see, that they don't know. When you get to the Ten of Swords, you have been through some shit in a relationship, okay? You have been backstabbed, betrayed to no end. You see how this nigga is fucked up and this bird is like, bring your ass on here. We ain't finished with you. That nigga's still fucking you up, okay? But you're going through a death and a rebirth. And for some of you, this is not going to resonate for all of you. There was a physical death in the family, okay? So my condolences out to the family. But somebody is definitely trapped and they're feeling stuck in the situation. Possibly with a king of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could have some of this in your chart. Maybe you're showing up as the king of swords. But somebody is pouring out all the love. All the feeling, all the emotion that they had in a relationship, they're pouring it out because there was a third party involved and they're so sorrowful and they're so regretful about a situation. They fail to still see that there's two cups sitting right there up on the cliff beside them. Yeah, somebody has been hurt and they're going through judgment right now, too. Somebody might have been a player. In a situation. That's what I'm feeling with that king of wands. And somebody wants to communicate. They want to get justice in a situation. Or you want justice in a situation, Virgo. You could possibly be going to court. Some of y'all might have even bled for this. Okay? I'm just saying. And this is a soulmate to you. This could be. You could be in a karmic situation. Because I got the karma card right here. With this soulmate was a karmic soulmate to you, and they were teaching you a lesson. So don't take it personally, honey. Just take the lesson, or like we say in the regular world, take the L and keep it moving, okay? Yeah, this was, oh, shit, yeah. Look at there. Look at fucking, looky, looky, goddammit, all over the fucking place. Look at this shit here. You got the Wheel of Fortune. You got the fucking Tower. That's Aries and Scorpio. And you got the world card right behind it. Yeah, boo. You in a major fucking lesson. Somebody is putting you through your paces, baby. But hang in. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. You're going to get through it. Okay? Okay. We're going forward right now. But that's the shit you don't see. And that's the shit spirit is here to help you with. Okay? Yeah. The high priestess, third party situation, this is what you're being guided to find out. And this is what you already fucking know. You felt it, you know it. If you felt that you were in a third party situation, because this ain't no fucking celebration, you know that you were in, in the midst of some bullshit and some fuckery, okay? But spirit is here to help you. He sent you an angel and he's already here, okay? So he's calling in some assistance. His chief angel, Arch Arch Archangel Michael, is here to speak to you and here to help you. They're going to guide you. That's how they're going to speak to you. They're going to allow you to be guided by your intuition. And if you can't use your intuition because you don't know to accept or reject something, and this could very well be a relationship from the past that you just recently got out of, they're going to guide you to know. That you need to make a change and move forward to victory. Because there's no victory in this bullshit. Okay? Okay? 
That's what that is. And you could be dealing with a Sagittarius too. Look at here. Ten of chalices. Too many tens are showing up. This is completion. This is completion in a situation, okay? We got the ten of chalices. There could very well be new love. That's what they're trying to guide you to. Or this could be an old love, an old, old soulmate. Because we did have the soulmate and we do have the lovers. So it's the decision to be made. But somebody is very emotional. Highly emotional. Needing to take a leap of faith. Move forward. Six of Swords. Move forward. This is the walking away. I'm going forward card. Page of Wands. A new message is coming in. About an offer. It's going to be small. But you're going to get. You're going to be happy. Look at this. Look at this. Look at fucking this, y'all. Me and my cards are aligned. When I tell you me and my cards understand each other, these motherfuckers understand me and I understand them. Look what the fuck you got. Leo. But this is the sun. This is the brightest card in the deck. Wish fulfillment. The Hierophant. Somebody may want to offer you a commitment, but you're scared because you're hurt. There have been secrets in the past. You got a lot of major arcana sitting next to each other. Somebody was juggling. They were on the fence. They didn't know which decision to make. This could have been you. This could have been somebody else. But in any event, it caused a third-party situation. That's what caused the heartbreak. The Hermit card. Here you go, baby. Now I know why we have not seen you, boo-boo. And that makes absolute sense. Because you have gone within. You have done what the spirit of the divine has guided you to do. Take some time the fuck out and go within. That is what you're doing right now. This is also a part of your divine intervention. The spirit has called you in. To pull that, pull that star from out of the sky, put it in your lantern so you can go within, so you can get the messages that you need to be intuitively guided to and led so you can move forward to victory. In a minute, you're going to have some options and it's going to leave somebody else broken hearted and they're going to feel like you fucking felt. That's what's going to be illuminated. And guess what? They're going to be in the same position as they left you. Guarded and defensive. You're going to come out of that shit, bro. You know this old saying, what goes around comes around. What goes around comes around. Yeah, look at that. That's my spiritual awakening card. Somebody got an awakening. They had a fucking epiphany, aha moment. That's the divine waking your ass up, telling you, follow me. I got some place to, I got some things to show you. I got somewhere to take you. You got some place else to be. You got destiny. You got purpose with your life, boo. That's why you're here. That is exactly why you are here on YouTube. I don't give a damn what reader you listen to. You got purpose in your life. You don't get here just by mishap. Trust me. I had to go through the same fucking process to get here to find out some shit too. And I am a Virgo rising, okay? Went through it a couple of years ago. And everything that I'm doing now makes so much fucking sense. I understand it completely. But you're going within. You're detaching from everything and everybody in order to move forward. Because you're going to have to. That's why you're being split off from everybody and everything. So you can get clarity in a situation. You need to get clear on shit. And that's what the divine is here to help you. And that's what that angel showed up in there to help you. Okay? <clears throat> this could be a cancer or you could have cancer in your chart sun moon or rising you don't have to be a virgo sun but you can be any of this with cancer in your chart and i'm feeling strongly that you got cancer in your chart and you could very well be dealing with a cancer or a pisces but this person is loving nurturing they're emotional too um they can be very intuitive and they can be psychic. But I feel at this point, somebody is really emotional as well as somebody is dealing with, I can't, excuse me, a cancer. But you're moving forward. 
And I keep feeling one of you motherfuckers got a new car. Somebody got a new car. Congratulations, you got a new whip. But you're moving forward. Look at this empress. And this heifer embodies all four queens. Male or female, don't matter. But this person is fully abundant. They got every fucking thing they need. They even pregnant with ideas. Sometimes pregnant with people. Seven of Swords. There was, there was lies and betrayal. Wow. Lot shit. Somebody was blocked and they stepped away from shit. They backed up. They were too focused on their finances. Too focused on the material world. Not focused on love. Very stubborn. Very bullheaded. You're starting to show up now. Very determined to do things your way. And the King of Pentacles, and look at look at you, still holding on. Are you involved with a, an Aquarius? You got a choice to make, but you holding on to two things. The sun, the moon is not illuminating all of this shit, but it illuminated just enough for us to see that you holding on still to not one, but two things, two people. But you got a choice to make. You got a choice to make. The King of Pentacles is somebody that is very well wealthy, financially abundant. They can be married, don't have to be. They could be in a long-term committed relationship, don't have to be. They can have kids, a jits, but don't have to be. This is somebody that society, you know, your peers, they look up to this person. They look up to this type of person. They're well known in their community. Male or female. They're the other half of what makes a power couple. Either you're dealing with a, an Aquarius or somebody has Aquarius in their chart or somebody needs to heal. Or somebody is healing. Because you got love. There we go. Look at here. Nine of Pentacles. Back again. Strength. Working hard. There we go. Truth. After a lot of conflict, internalizing. Let's go forward. <clears throat> you must be ready to come up out of your shell because your cards is jumping. This is wish fulfillment. So like I said, you're going to have options. You're going to have a lot of options. But now keep in mind, all of them options not going to make you happy. For some of you, this is what brought you to a third party situation. For others of you, that's what brought your counterpart into a third party situation. And that's what caused the heartbreak. But there again, have balance in the situation. Stay balanced. You do want something to come together. And this could be a business. This could be a relationship. Or you could want to get married. Possibly to a queen of wands. Or a cancer. Or either somebody is very mature in their emotions right now. Somebody's manifesting. And for others of you, there's somebody that's manifesting too. Um, they're using moon magic. Somebody's, somebody is playing with magic. Somebody is definitely playing with some black magic. For definite. Um... Night of Chalices, some love coming through. Victory. Union for some of you. And it's going to be a lot of passion in that union. <laughs> Look at here, a lot of passion. But for others of you, this was the toxicity in the relationship. And remember I told you about this fucking bitch with this bird? <laughs> Look at that motherfucker now. Look at that nigga now. <laughs> you can't fight that fucking bird, not with that little metal ass toothpick. You ain't going to win. You ain't going to fucking win. But yeah, look at that. About to get your head ripped off. Can't even see it. That's why I said somebody needs to go get some glasses. Okay, get your prescription straightened out. Okay, not all of you lost money, but some of you did lose money. But you're going through a death and rebirth. This relationship really puts you through the ringer. It taught you a hell of a lesson, too. There are a lot of secrets. There's still a lot of secrets in this shit. 
They could very well be a baby in this situation. Somebody was playing with two people. They kept their options open. Could have been this emperor too. One of these broads could have been the queen of pentacles. Somebody wants their ships to come in, but they're stuck in a situation. But it's about to come to an end because it's a ten of swords situation. Patience and balance. Shit is coming together, but it's going to take a minute. Queen of Wands, somebody is passionate. Could have been the mistress, too. You could have had multiple parties. Or your partner could have had multiple parties that they were playing with. Somebody spying on somebody, too. Two of Swords. You need to see something clearly. And for others of you, whoever needs to go get their eyes checked, you need to go get your eyes checked. Your prescription is not strong enough for your glasses, for you. And it's causing you problems, okay? But this motherfucker couldn't see if somebody paid him. And I'm not picking at nobody that can't see. Because, nigga, I got four eyes, too. Fuck you. So don't talk shit to me, okay? But, yeah, somebody spying heavily could be a king of swords. You could be that king of swords. You might be spying on somebody else. But this is uh, this is karma. This is judgment for how somebody behaved. And now they want to reconcile a situation. Some of you want to pull something back from the dead and see if you can raise it. <laughs> if judgment will raise it and you can get your, uh, your wish. You can get that person back. Because somebody poured out all their love, all their feelings, and all their emotions. Somebody was in a lot of regret. Somebody regret what they did to somebody. They hurt them a lot. And now all they're focused on is what they lost, not what they can potentially have. There's still two cups on the side of this cliff waiting. Yeah, somebody could have been a major player, left somebody real guarded. Or it could have been a king of wands, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But justice came out of this shit. This was with a soulmate. World card. Look at here. Look at here. Look at all of this shit. Look at all this shit here. Yeah. Same thing. Let's go forward. I told you I like to be nosy. Only when we fucking with these cards. Otherwise, in the 3D world, I don't give a fuck about nobody else's business until it interferes with mine. I'm not a nosy person. Not like that. The Hierophant. So, somebody... It could be illuminated that somebody got married on the kilo, on the kilo low. Somebody might have got married, slick got married, and did not tell somebody. For others of you, um, there could be a serious commitment involved. Um, the Taurus, the Hierophant is the High Priestess. I mean the High Priest, I'm sorry. And his counterpart is already on the table, on the board. So you could very well be each other's counterpart in a situation. Like I said, there's a divine relationship in the midst of this bullshit. But you got to get through the bullshit to get to it. Because here's the other partner. And you're being guided to take a leap of faith. But in the meantime, the high priest, he presides over time-honored tradition, culture, heritage, legacy, that type shit. Also, he also presides over anything legal, legal documents, any contracts, any paperwork, binding. If you're married, this is him. Um, police officer, judge, lawyer. You could be dealing with a lawyer. Or you could have got into some shit with the cops. Some of you. Some of you could have got into the shit with the cops. Hmm. But somebody disorderly conduct would got your ass locked up. But anyway, um, I got that message specifically for somebody. Somebody um, caught a disorderly conduct charge. Okay, moving along. Um, but for others of you, this is what's going to be revealed. That you have a, a new commitment, a new relationship on the horizon. And you need to take that leap forward. But you're internalizing shit because you're still thinking about past. But there's truth coming. Somebody's working hard to master some things. Um, they're gaining strength and courage or either they're dealing with a Leo or a Leo is involved. 
But you're going to be absolutely fabulous. Nine of Pentacles. That's my star stellar, stellar single person. You got everything. You're just missing somebody to compliment you. Not complete you. Key words. Compliment, complete. Two different things. Six of Pentacles. Somebody wants an equal balance of give and take. Not this bullshit. Because this is what's this is what it's been. This is what caused you to have to heal. About love. There's a decision. Somebody being stubborn. Egotistical, arrogant. Lying. That's just a big liar. Deceiver. Deceptive. Okay, folks. Let's go ahead and put some angel messages on this. We're going to do the Archangel Oracle deck first. I hope you like your reading. It doesn't mean that it's going to be for everybody, okay? But in the meantime, you can always hit that like button. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share with your family and fucking friends. Leadership. Archangel Gabriel, it's time for you to assume your leadership, power, and passion position and lovingly guide others. As you use your intuition to guide your ass out of this and move forward, That's victory if I ain't never seen it. Speedy style, too. Angel therapy. Archangel Raphael, give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. So call on the divine. Call on his helpers. That's what they're here for. You see, not one, not two, but three. Here's the third one. Hello from heaven. Archangel Azrael, your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. So you got multiple people family that has crossed over right here you're going through a death and rebirth not a fig not a literal death but you're going to the old ways are going to die and the new ones are going to improve and come through that's why you're going within okay let's put earth magic oracle card on this reading and then that will conclude my reading for you lovely black girls Man, y'all niggas did not want to come out of hiding. Y'all motherfuckers been hibernating. Like you in a fucking cave and shit. I'm going to need you to get up out your goddamn man. A girl cave. Shit. Well, you got passion. So, put some passion in your life. Let somebody set a fire up underneath it. And there you go. That also concluded with the other message. Ancestors, generations. This was the message that it resonated with. There you go. Ancestors, generations, they're here to help. All you got to do is call, okay? I want to thank everybody so much. Don't forget, when you come through the door, this is the equivalent to say hello. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share with your family and fucking friends. When you leave and you didn't goddamn do it the first time, do it the second time. Please like, subscribe, share with your family and your fucking friends. All right, y'all? I love your family. Bye.